Hi, this video is recorded out of this curiosity, right? I want to know uh, if I can get this done. So it says it would have the criteria to select for the value in the category A, right? I just assumed this is A. So now I've uh, modified my code so that now it should work. So let's say I'm selecting A, it will only highlight A and X, A and X, right? So A and X, so it's 18, 15, 8, right? You can see that here, right? This will not be selected. So I just click on these options. So 18, 8, now this is for A. It will now copy to the report. And as for, if I go for B, and I click on this, you can see that it is lesser, right? Why is that so? Because um, we're now selecting only B, based on B, B and X. B and X, B and X, B and X, right? So it's a 7, 18. So right here, 7, 18. Yeah, that's it. So how do we change the code? So basically, I insert uh, I insert this um, combo box, right? By using here, insert. Over here, uh, here, and to choose a combo box. So a combo box later on, you need to assign it. You need to right click format control and choose a cell link, see there? And with the cell link, right, then you need to use, you need to know that, okay, they are selecting two, but they give you the position of the list. So what do you get that is that you use the index functions right, right here. So that means the user are really selecting the items number two and the various B. So using this cell here, which is installed in hash three, we now I can go to here, right click, change the view code, and all I change is just followed by the previous code, right? I change this part here. So instead of reading a static value, which is A, right now I just refer it to this cell here. And that's get me the, uh, complete with this code. So maybe that is what uh, that this person's asked, right? Thank you. Hope you learned something.